guys welcome to this week's video and i'm so so excited because this is what everyone has been waiting for so i'm gonna tackle one of the most asked questions and one of the most uh questions that i get dm'd about so this is exciting and i'm so happy yes and before we get started don't forget to yes let's do this so what's the topic of this week the most asked question as i said um it's all about what do you require to look for a job while you are here in ua which means you're either in abu dhabi or you're in dubai or you're in ras al Khaima, you're in Sharjah. Sharjah is dubai <laughs> i think so and if you're in Alain, so let's do this and fujaira yes there's so many emirates yes there are emirates so what do you require there's few things that you require and most of them you know guys already but sometimes it's good to be reminded and this those people who don't know so i want to remind you and also go deeper so i can explain to you what you really need to know and so you can get that job that you need and uh, you don't just get a job just like that you have to get prepared and this is why this video is very important to you so one of the things that you require first and foremost you and the interest to look for a job because if you have no interest then definitely mm -mm, you'll be wasting time and you better use that energy somewhere else guys so my number one in the list simply a laptop if you don't have a laptop don't worry you can still use your smartphone nowadays you can use smartphones for everything i use my huawei for everything i use laptops only on few times when i need to do something that my smartphone cannot really do but smartphones do everything so you need that a smartphone could be huawei samsung iphone you can really afford any smartphone and from the market nowadays there's so much discounts and there's also second hand so you don't really need to have a laptop you, it's not a must but it, if you have it it's a bonus because you go wider and deeper i guess it has to have internet so you have to be somewhere where you are able to have wi-fi unlimited wi-fi because you will be applying for a lot of jobs so that's my number one requirement on the list the other thing that you need is to set your goals what kind of job are you interested in i can say that most people have a lot of experiences because you've been working in different jobs so it means you are capable of applying for multiple jobs and see what you get first but there's that one main job that you're really interested in and we know that not all, not all jobs that needs you to go to school or need certificates and degrees. No, some of them you learn how to do them and even you become very, very perfect in them. So you know your capability and you know what you can do and what you can't. So you X out what you cannot do and stick to what you can do and then sit down and decide this is what I really want. List them down and then start drafting my number three on the list which is the cv so now that you know your capabilities you need to make a beautiful a clear precise simple cv that will be catchy to the employer's eyes or when they read it they are able to um, understand you you will not complicate the cv because you have a chance to explain uh further when you get to the interview room so you all need to summarize what you're capable of and then list down everything that you feel that you are able to do and that company is offering and then once you make your cv that's when you start applying for your job so let me talk more about the cv because it's actually very very important don't complicate it it is important to list down or to make just one cv with everything that you do you can do that you find that people apply jobs and then the job is taken, but because you included everything uh, you are experienced in on that CV, on that one CV, the employer or the interviewer find out that you have more experiences and they have more vacancies. So you end up getting a job. So this is one of the advantages, but I can tell you that 
every company requires different things and when they uh, post those jobs on the uh, websites on on the career uh, platforms they explain to you what exactly they want so sometimes you go with what uh, the employer or the interviewer or the person who posted the job wants according to what they require always have that cv if, if there's anything or if you find out that there's a job online and or you're just passing by browsing on your phone and then you find that you're interested and you just send it and you don't even worry it's because everything is in there so you don't have to create another cv for that specific job so this is one of the advantages so let's go to the next thing you the language is very important why because there are so many nationalities and the only language that you are able to understand each other through is English. So you have to have a well-spoken English. And also, mm, if you have uh, like Arabic or any other language like French, Germany, you are, well, you are lucky. Oh, that's a bonus. That's a bonus to you. So, but one of the most important la uh, languages that you need to know is how to speak and how to write in English. And Aww. because it's an Arabic country, if you also able to learn how to speak Arabic, then it's very good for you because it's widely used in your way. Trust me. It's an advantage and if you can start taking some uh, tutorials, you can do it in Google or YouTube. I don't know how to speak Arabic, but it's funny because my sister learned how to speak Arabic so quickly within a short, within like five months or three months. I think sometimes it's interest because I also know friends of mine who can speak like French very well and they're not like from any French countries and others speak, uh, they can speak German. I have a friend of mine who went to Netherlands and now she can speak. So it's all about interest and you wanting to grow yourself because growing yourself career wise is very important. And if it's really something that you want in life, then you're going to go for it. But you have to speak well in English. Okay. In Dubai, we speak a lot of broken English just to understand each other with different nationalities. So as long as you understand English and you can write it, sometimes it doesn't matter how you phrase it, but if you can really speak well and fluently, it's an advantage and it's a bonus for you. On my next thing, this is something that should have been number one. So if you are already in UAE, it means you, are, you already have a valid visa. So there's so many types of visa. You can be here with a visa, which is a tourist visa, a visit visa, which can help you look for a job. And then once you get the job, your employer they changes your status and you get an employment visa and then a resident visa. Or you can have a husband visa. And in most cases, when employers and interviewers post these jobs, they specifically say what kind of visa they are looking for. Some of them are just looking for freelancers because you have people with visas who just do different jobs, freelancing, which is also very good if you are capable of doing that and you are willing to take the risk. It's absolutely good also. And also we have people who are employed and they have visas from their companies. They also look for different opportunities because sometimes if you're in that job and you feel like you're not growing and you're not making any progress, you tend to look for jobs other places so you can better yourself and better your life. So you can also use the employment or the resident visa to look for a job and then it will be changed or transferred uh, from uh, that company to the other so there's no chance of you looking for a job when you're illegally in the country. You have to be legal and for you to be legal, you have to have a visa, a valid visa. When you have the visa, obviously you have a place to live. You're either living in your current company's accommodation or you're renting somewhere or you're living with your husband or you're living with your friends. You're definitely living somewhere. I have a video about the lifestyle and how people live in UAE and you I will leave the link below so you can go and check uh, if you are new in UAE and uh, you want to know more about the housing and the lifestyle so you can go and check uh, click the, uh, the link below and uh, it will direct you to the video another one that uh, most people make mistake with is the interview outfit if you're looking for an official job 
you will wear an official attire like this. And if you're looking for any other job, sometimes we have employers who specify just be simple and come in, don't just be, don't come with struggling with a suit or with high heels, especially the vice weather can be hot. And I, I have experienced working with a suit on the hot sun because summers can be crazy in UAE. You suffer. So sometimes bring extra shoes especially if you're a lady and just you can go change them in the, if you still have time because you know you all have to always be on time when you're attending an interview if you are late it's a minus one and if you want that job you definitely don't need a minus make everything a positive it doesn't matter the nature of the job always be on time always be prepared not the african time Africans, you know the African time, yeah? <laughs> You're supposed to meet at 1 and then you, you meet at 3 and the person is not guilty at all. They're like, okay, so let's do it. What, what were you supposed to? And they're late. And they're extremely late. You feel this? <laughs> Maybe it's a thing. I don't know. <laughs> also, you can be simple but decent. Don't grab slippers with shorts and a t-shirt. And just walk in an office and ask them to give you a job. If I'll be the inter interviewer, I'll be like, <sighs> wasted. Sometimes if you feel stuck and you don't really know what, because I've been in that situation where you get an interview and you're like, what am I going to wear? You're scared and you know it's mixed up with nervous because if you're depending on that interview, you become nervous and sometimes you go mute. You cannot talk. Oh my God. Interviewers, the ones who are hiring people. Sometimes we are good and we can do the job. But sometimes you get nervous out of nothing. And then you thought, you thinking that you're going to smash the interview. And then you go and black out. Sometimes it's only that moment. I wish they can give you a second interview. I know there's so many people applying. And we cannot be perfect. We are human beings. So if that person comes to the interview and you see very well, obviously you invite them to the interview because you feel they're experienced and they are capable of doing it. Just give them a second chance for the second interview. Just ask them friendly questions. Just slowly. I feel that. I feel some interviews are too harsh. Don't worry, people. When you come to my company, the one I will start. <laughs> I will be very lenient with you as long as you're experienced. So don't worry, I will, I will hire you guys. I will hire you definitely. <laughs> yeah, but don't come in slippers. Wear something decent. Those are the basic me, uh, the basic things that you need to apply a job while you're here in UA. In a later video, we're going to discuss about are those people who are not in UAE because you can still apply for a job when you are in your home country. Yes, you can do that. And in my next video, we are now going to tackle how to actually apply those jobs. And imagine I have so many good tips for you. So you better subscribe so you can, you don't miss it. You don't have to miss it. You've been asking me these questions. Don't miss it, please. So we're going to deal with, um, the topic of how to actually apply for those jobs and it's gonna be an interesting video and if we have to make one or two just so we don't leave out any any detail i will do it because i know you need this and i know so many people need it so we're gonna discuss every point every platform that you need how you do even have to show you an example let's do it Thank you so much and thank you for the love and subscribe. Adios, ciao and koheri.